Hi there, it's Ajmer from In-House Solutions again with another 2025 What's New video. In this case, we're going to talk about the ability to add uh, work holding into Model Chamfer and OptiRoth. So these toolpaths here right now are not looking at any work holding. So what I want to do is, as well as this Model Chamfer here, it's assuming there's nothing in the way. So just like before, I have set up in my uh, machine group setup, I have another one called Work Holding Level 100. So I'll just turn those on for the sake of it here. So that's what this looks like. So now what I want to do is I want to make sure that this OptiRef and this Model Chamfer look at this Work Holding. So I'm just going to copy those two. And I'll just paste them after this one. Okay, so I have the duplicate operations here. So here's my original one that does not look at the work holding. And in these ones here, I'm going to add the work holding. So even if I have those levels turned off, so in here I can go in and do model geometry. And now this area here called work holding geometry, I can say, I want you to watch out for this stuff here. Even though it's not on the screen, we'll say, okay. And now this one's going to go through a new gym. And while that one's going, I'm going to go into this one. Oh, that one's done already. So now you can see it's jumping over uh, clamps that you can't see. So let me just actually turn those back on. So you can see the jumps happening. It's avoiding the clamps. And we can do the same thing in the model chamfer. Actually, so if I back plot this now, you can see it's going through the clamps. And I just need to go into model chamfer here and say work holding. And again, which set of work holding do you want? I'll say okay. And now you'll see a nice clean model chamfer. Uh, I think I gotta add some distance there. Let's say 25 there. And regen. And you'll see that it clearly avoids the plants. So another quick way to leverage your machine group setup settings into model chamfer and OptiRoth.